What's up, people? This is How To Be, Adi Oladipo, Darren Bark, and we're talking about Amanda Serrano, the Puerto Rican legend, fights in Puerto Rico. She takes on German Nina Menka. Uh, let's talk about this one. Amanda Serrano. By the way, I'm desperate, desperate to see Amanda Serrano fight Katie Taylor again. Oh, I want to see that desperate. too. 100%. Desperate. Let's yeah. keep our fingers and toes crossed. What would you prefer to see? Amanda Serrano versus Katie Taylor or Katie Taylor trilogy against Chantel Cameron? You've got to have I'm going the off subject here. You, you've got yeah. to have the trilogy, but I want to see the Serrano fight. Anyway, Serrano, legend. Yeah. We know what she's done in the sport. Uh, unrivaled, some would say. Eight weight world champion. Certainly unrivaled. Incredible. Yeah. yeah, only Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, the men's incredible. Game has done that. Um, but she is 35, mother time waits for nobody and uh, that for me is Nina Menka's best chance is that time has just caught up with Serrano. One fight too many. Uh, though I'll talk about Serrano, what she does so well is she is relentless. It's incredible. Does not stop. She Thanks. is, a, you know, she's an Her punch output, it, it must be insane. Honestly, it must be insane. I agree with you. And that's why I like her fighting two minute rounds. Because mm. for two minute rounds, it is literally pedal to the metal. Yeah. She goes. Can she still do that though now? Yeah. A and what I would do is just look, the pace can still be higher, but the two shots that she throws so well, so it's, it's a combination, Tremble. really. It's just a straight one, two. Yeah. Bad bang, mm. straight down the middle. Bad bang. She's just so accurate with it, so precise with it, uh, and, and so relentless with it. You know, she commits to the shot and she very rarely misses. Can you say she's also a bit clumsy with it? And what I mean by that, she does give you openings. Yeah. Because she does, it's all about attack rather than yeah. defense for her. Can she give Nina some openings because she is all the time bang, bang, bang? Look, in this sport, you want to be as unpredictable as possible. You yeah. don't want to be predictable in any way. You don't want your opponent to be able to read your rhythm mm. or your approach to a fight. So you want to vary up slightly. And you're right, Serrano is... Dare the I say a one trick pony, yeah. but the she, best one trick pony ever. But yeah, yeah. Pony, yeah, yeah. She, she is so good at what she does, but yeah, if you could read and time her momentum onto your shots, then you get more force onto uh, the weight of your own shot. But it's going to be very difficult for Menka to do it. I think, yeah, you're right, Serrano does need to bring her feet in, but for me, I would keep the pace high just by throwing the jab, one, two, jab, one, two, and you can do that because it's the three, four, five punch combinations that really sap the energy of your output. But I think it's, it's a lot more sustainable and economical to throw the jab and the one-two as opposed to, like I say, loading up in flurries of shots. If she can do that, and I have to be honest here, there is absolutely no chance Menka wins this fight mm. because she, like you say there, she one trick pony, but that one trick is It's unbeatable. an incredible trick. You know, it's so, so What cool. I have seen though with Amanda struggling with opponents, and look, she's got an incredible record, so it's only a few opponents that have caused her problems, is they go straight at her. Yeah. There's no point in trying to stand off and have a boxing match with her because you almost give her that power and like, okay, I'm just going to come straight at you. So Nina's got to go straight at her shortly. Uh, it's funny, funny you say that because that leads right into what I would suggest Menka does and uh, another Southpaw uh, herself is what she does really well is she leads this, uh, uses this lead hand really yeah. well. And what she'll do is she'll spin off. Okay. She'll fully rotate with yeah. the right hand. So she'll spin off. And again, I've mentioned it time... Uh, time again on here as a safe zone. It's kind of is a safe she zone. She can almost spin off of that and then throw the left, no? Left exactly hook, what you do. Body exactly head, yeah. what you do. You spin round, so you throw yeah. that, you wait for Serrano to lead. So, yep, bang, for that opening hand, right there. Bang, mm. bang, Ooh. and again, like I'm saying, yeah, Serrano, <laughs> not to be too greedy with mm. the output. I still want her to be busy, but not greedy with the output. Minka really needs to be yeah. selective with the work that she throws. She cannot afford to be trading. I know what you're saying. I don't think she can afford to trade uh, with Serrano. Serrano, too big a puncher, too aggressive naturally. Mm. Uh, Minka is more of a tidy boxer. She moves really well. She's got a nice spring to her work. And I think it's that pivot off the front foot that's so important. Try and use that momentum mm. from, from Serrano yeah. to make her almost fall okay. into that area yeah. that you can throw the left. Okay. And yeah, feet. And that pivot is important for Minka. The straight one-two for Serrano. The intent, the effort, the relentless, no-nonsense uh, approach from Serrano, I feel, will be the difference. Do you give Menka any chance of beating Serrano in Puerto Rico? No. No. Bob Hope and... No hope. Indeed. Uh, March 2nd, though, should be a good fight live on the zone. This is how to beat Adi Oladipo, Darren Barker.